What's going on guys? Driving to the gym, it's your boy Uncle Jack. Just wanted to chat a bit about things that have really been working for me in January 2023. Number one is focus on your childhood dream. So our dreams change, our goals change. But ultimately, you know this, I know this, there's some little aching in your heart for the thing you want to do in your childhood, be an astronaut, be an actor, ride motorcycles. You got to start to, you genuinely think, don't try to be cool about it, just think for yourself, how would I get closer to that? What's one step I could take to get myself closer to that? You know you want to do it. Second part of this is finances. So they might seem counterintuitive. Um, if you're making great money, great. What I want you to do is start using that damn, and moving that towards your childhood dreams. If you're a person that's super focused on an artistic career, but it's not financially fruitful, part of what you got to do to keep that artistic shit sustainable is make more money so that you're stressed for you. You have less stress when you're working on your artistic stuff, which is stressful. I'm a big believer in um, so Sylvester Stallone. You should look up his story. Um, was a big actor who his method was be as desperate as possible, be homeless, don't give a shit about anything except what you want to do, and it worked out for him. Uh, I don't subscribe to that. Um, I think it's very reasonable to, if you have a thing, you know, childhood dream type goal that maybe doesn't make a lot of money, um, it makes a lot of sense to get yourself in a good financial position so you can pursue it stress-free, so you can pursue it without this desperation and neediness. Uh, so I would highly recommend that. So those are two things that have been working for me really well in January. Second thing is working out. I have worked out more intensely in the past, I don't know, three weeks that I have in, I don't know, six months. And it, it's always worth it, guys. It's always worth it. There's a million excuses not to work out hard, but especially as a man, um, when you're in really good shape, when you can lift heavy weights, when you are ripped, you just feel good. You know you're gonna feel good about yourself. You just, you, you feel good about yourself. Your body looks good, you feel good. You can eat cheat meals because your body is working out a ton right? You don't get fat. It's really nice. So I would highly recommend that. And personally, I just find it a really great way to get some momentum in your life. It's very fulfilling just to see yourself like, shit, oh, I'm growing. Like literally I'm forcing my body to grow. And then the last two um, would be no fap and getting good sleep. So Guys, I mean, obviously I've banged on about this ad nauseum. You know, you want to get good sleep, or sorry. <laughs> you got to do no fap. There's not really a good alternative. There's no good alternative. You know, it's it's it makes you more attractive. It makes you more driven in your career, whatever. It gives you more aura. It gives you more vibe. makes you more masculine. It's just the way to go. You guys already know this. Um, if you don't, there's a million reasons to do it. Um, on my channel and plenty of other people's channels. So definitely do that, stay disciplined with that. Um, and then the last thing is sleep. Um, super underrated guys, super underrated. Um, I love going out, I love hanging out with friends late night, super fun. However, um, gotta be honest with you, if you're super driven in your career, if you're you know really trying to make great stuff happen, getting good night's sleep is super underrated, right? You, you know, if you get a good night's sleep, you're, it helps with your testosterone production. If you get a good night's sleep, your skin looks better, your face looks better, you have more energy in the gym, you have more energy for your career. There's a million reasons to get a good sleep. There's, you know, kids take naps, toddlers take naps. It's because they're basically more zen and they feel better when they take naps. So get good sleep. I love you guys. Stay on that NoFap grind, stay on that semen retention grind. One quick story, um, just to keep you motivated in that. Perfect example. I don't know, I was like day 12, went into a restaurant. The bartender literally just like, I didn't even do any game. I didn't do any game. I didn't like try to do anything. She literally just started like openly hitting on me. There was a bunch of other people in the place. And 
that was one of those. Like there's some where like, maybe I'll be really charming. In this case, I didn't even do anything that charming. I swear to God, she could just feel my energy when I walked in. So, stay on that semen retention life. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.